less than 75 area of a trapezoid. Here in the picture below you see the formula for area of a trapezoid. Let's just take a, folk, a look at that closer. The area of a trapezoid, a trapezoid has four sides, so it's a type of quadrilateral. And you have two sets of parallel, uh, you have a, one set of parallel lines. You have one on the base, base two, and then you have another one on top of another base. You have base one and base two. The formula, area equals the height, and to take the height, it has to make a uh, perpendicular, perpendicular line to the two bases. So from the bottom straight up to the top. You don't take it from the diagonals, okay? So it's the height times your two bases, add them together. So your two the parallel lines, add them together, divide it by two. So let's take a look here. Eric needs to replace the shingles on the south side of his roof. The section of his of roof is a trapezoid with the dimensions shown. How many square feet of shingles does he need to cover this section of the roof? So we need to find the area. Now you might be wondering, how did they get that formula? Well, if I drew a diagonal here, I have two triangles. The height is always going to be the same. The base, I have two different bases. So in, really, to find the area of a triangle, it's base times height divided by 2. Since I have just two of them, I'm just combining the bases. So that was just a, a little quick explanation how they come up with that formula. So here, rewrite our formula. We got area equals the height times base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2. So let's plug in our numbers. We know that the height from the top to the bottom is 12. So I put 12 in for the height. Base 1 is 8. Base 2 is 24. Divide that by 2. Another way of another way of writing it, you can see over on the right hand side here, half times base 1 plus base 2 times the height. You could do that as well. So I'll take half of the height. So for me, maybe I would do half of 12 and then multiply that by the sum of 8 and 24. And since I have it written this way right now, I'll just saw it the way I have it. So I have 12 on the outside. 8 plus 24 is 32 divided by 2. So half of 32 is 16. So I have 12 times 16. And 12 times 16 would give us 192. So we would have 192 square feet of shingles. One on the right hand side, the bases of a trapezoid are 12 centimeters and 18 centimeters. So 12 centimeters and 18 centimeters are the two bases. The height of the trapezoid is 8. So times the height, which is 8, we need to find the area. Remember, we're multiplying by half. So we need to find the area. So now let's solve it with this one. So 12 plus 18 is 30. Multiply that by 2 times 8. Now, a simple way of doing this one, I would just do half of 8. So divide a 2 here and get 1. Half of 8 is 4. 4 times 30 would give us 120. So this would be 120 square centimeters. Next one, find the area of each of these trapezoids. So I have half times base 1, 10, plus base 2, 16, times the height which is 8. So now I have 26. Half of 8 is 4. So 26 times 4 is 104 square centimeters. The bottom one, letter B, I have half times 8 
times the base of 3 plus 7 times the height of 4. Half of 4 is 2. 3 plus 7 is 10. So 2 times 10 would give us 20 inches, square inches. Since we're multiplying everything, so half times the parentheses times the height, you can switch them around, do half of 4 times the parentheses like I did. Otherwise, you could do half of 10 is 5, 5 times 4 is 20. Next one, we have half times base 1, 8, plus base 2, is 2, times the height is 6. So now let's do half times 10 times 6. Half of 10 is 5, 5 times 6 is 30. We would have 30 square feet. On the last one here, we got two bases. Base 1.6 plus 1.4, and the height is 1.2. Now I have half times 1.6 plus 1.4 gives us 3 times 1.2. So here I would do 3 times 1.2. And then divide that by 2, and you get 1.8 square meters. And we have one final problem. Shingles on the south side of Tamika's roof needed to be replaced. The shingles she wants comes in bundles that cover 33 and one-third square feet. Tamika calculates the area of the section of the roof and then determines the number of bundles she needs. She wants to buy two extra bundles to allow for cutting and waste. What is the area of the section of roof and how many bundles should we make out by? So first off, let's find the area of the of the roof. So we have half times base one plus base two times the height. So half times 60 times 15, half of 60 is 30, 30 times 15 is 450 square feet. So that is the area of the roof. So that's the first part. Now we need to know how many bundles should we make up by. So to take the area, the total area of the roof, divided by what each bundle covers. Each bundle covers 33 and one-third. So if we if we just estimate this because it's 33 and one-third, that's closer to 33 square feet. If I divide that by 33, that gives me 13.6. But you can't have a partial bundle. So we would have to round that up to the next bundle, which would be 14 bundles. So she needs 14 bundles, but it says she wants to buy two extra bundles. So add two, so that would give us a total of 16 bundles she would have to purchase. That was our lesson today on area of a trapezoid.